Hey guys, Jannik here for Cinecam.net and welcome back to another Copycat Friday. And believe it or not, the first teaser for our short movie is out. It took us a while, but we finally made it. And if you want to check it out, click on the link up there. Now making that teaser gave me a great idea. How to create a super epic Hollywood blockbuster trailer for your next movie. And look at this. We found this blockbuster trailer template on YouTube. How easy is this? Maybe too easy. That's why we decided to put the template to the test. However, the template is only text and music. That's not how a trailer works. So we created our own epic trailer. There's something you should know about me. I despise to wear shoelaces. I choose Velcros. I won't be brainwashed! They are going to wear what I say they wear. Is Velcro worth dying for? Yes, it is! No one in this world is unique! My will is law! I am unique! These shoes are made for walking. That was weird and epic at the same time. Jordi really keeps surprising me with his acting. He could easily be the next Leonardo DiCaprio. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But what makes a trailer work? How do you build a story? And most importantly, how can you make the audience want to watch your film? Well, let me give you some tips on creating your own trailer. Of course, everything starts with the music. Your music will set the overall tone of the trailer. And believe me, music is super important. For instance, Take a look at this scene right here. Jordi is looking through the window, a normal scene. Now if we take some tensile music and place it underneath the clip, you will make it epic, giving the feeling that Jordi is going out to do something great, an adventure. But if you place some super sad song under the clip, the clip will get a whole different meaning and feeling to it. It becomes sad and you feel bad for Jordi. So you can see, music, very important. Now besides setting a tone and giving a feeling to your trailer, music also helps with the storytelling. Helping to create the tension you want, a build up to the climax. But on the right time, the music goes back to the softer part. Your actor is in trouble. It's the eye of the storm. And then BOOM! The climax is here, the hero is winning, the big money shot. The music guides your audience through the story of the trailer. Now because we followed the YouTube template, we decided to create our own music from scratch. But we based it on the music from the templates to really recreate it. Now for recreating our own song, we use Storyblocks Audio. They have a whole bunch of instrument loops you can use to create your own song, just like the template instructs us to do. So we contacted Annelies Skerikov. She's a very talented Belgian singer and we are super happy she helped us out on such a short notice. And guys, go check out her YouTube channel. She makes awesome covers. 
you can find the link in the description below. Now, if you also want to create your own song, but have zero experience in making music, just like us, here are some tips. Look for a song you really like, like for example, the one from the Inception trailer. Then listen to what they do, to the timing and the buildup of the song. Place markers on every blah drop or change in the music. If you do this in detail, you can create your own music trailer template. And with the instrument loops of Storyblocks Audio or whatever site you are using, you can now start with building your own song. Next up is the storytelling part of the trailer, but first, hit the cool montage! I'm the owner of Cynical now. Genetic, get! <laughs> hey guys, some exciting news. We got a new intern here at Cinecam. It's Yella. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Just laying there in the sand. As we all know, most of the movies we watch are built with the three X structure. I'll explain the structure real quick so it's more clear where we come to the trailer. In Act 1, you have the setup. You introduce your lead actor, and then an incident happens to that lead actor, which leads to the first small climax. Now Act 2 starts. This is the confrontation of your lead character. There are multiple obstacles in their way, which causes a rising action. In the middle of Act 2, you get a big twist most of the times, followed by more obstacles. And of course, the major crisis for the lead actor right before the climax of Act 2. The action keeps on rising when we go into Act 3 and leads to the climax of this act, where most of the time the main character wins the battle. After this, the action starts to descend and the wrap up begins, guiding us to the end of the movie. And that is the three act structure in short. How can this help us with our trailer? Well, a trailer is also built up like this. First we have the introduction, establishing the environment and introducing the lead actor. But we also introduce the problem and the theme of the movie. We did this by using the dialogue of our actor. He's telling us his point of view of the problem. But of course we want to keep this first act a little bit mysterious. Then we end the first act with a title animation. For example, the studio cards. And also something good to mention is the music. In act 1 it's building up to something, but still quite subtle preparing us for the action to come. Then we go to the second act, the confrontation or the escalation. You can start this act with a super cool VFX shot, triggering the audience and giving that wow feeling and thus dragging them in. But in this act, we are also going to show the audience the central conflict and the bad guy, the reason for the conflict. In this act, the music keeps on building to something huge. In combination with the action shots and fast-paced editing, you are going in a straight line to the climax. But then, a crisis, an uncertainty, and the climax of act number two. The lead is suffering and losing. If this act is done, your audience will be left with questions. How is this going to play out? Then right after the crisis, no time to lose. Another build-up starts, but this one is going harder and faster. The music does the same, supporting the fast-paced shots filled with action. The tension and action keeps on building and building. We even get a statement from the bad guy, but our lead actor counters it. Now throw in some cool VFX money shots that most of the time are too long. And right when you are feeling the tip of the climax, boom, end titles. Which we got from our sponsor, Storyblocks Video. With the ever-expanding stock video library, you always find something you need. From Full HD to 4K resolution, they have it all. With their easy-to-use After Effects templates, you can create stunning title animations. Your end credits will be ready in no time and they will look super professional. Now besides great After Effects templates, they also have a ton of stock footage which can be handy for your trailer. Some shots you just can't make and that's where Storyblocks video comes in. You can find everything from aerial shots to muzzle flashes to lens flares. And the best thing about Storyblocks video is that you only have to pay one single price per year for unlimited downloads. So why wait? Go to the first link in the description below and start downloading on Storyblocks video. Let's continue with the trailer. The climax just ended suddenly and now you created the cliffhanger. The audience is urging to see what will happen. And that's the job of a trailer. Now of course this is a general way of making a trailer, 
Not all trailers are done this way, but it's a main principle that you can use. Now besides storytelling, you can also take your trailer to the next level with your visual storytelling. With this I mean the shots that you use. For example, in the beginning there is nothing bad going on and the lead is still in control. This you can show to the audience by picturing the lead standing tall. Here in this shot you can see our lead standing in the light. He is in control, but the bad guy is looking ominous. He is lingering in the shot, ready to make his move. And this is a great example of visual storytelling. Another example is the shot in the end, where the lead is losing the fight. The bad henchman is winning and he is towering above our lead. This tells us that the lead character is losing. In the next close up you can see him laying on the floor. He lost. But then we reframe and our actor stands up. He is gaining control again. He is ready to fight and win. So you can see that visual storytelling is also a very important aspect of a trailer. The shots you pick need to add something to the story, but also tell a story on their own. You need to pull the audience in keep them hooked and wanting to see more. Now it's time for Janik Fun Fact Fountain! Do you know when the very first trailer was made? That's right, in 1913. Back then Niels Granlund was an advertising manager in New York City and he decided to make a promotional film for a Broadway play. He then screened this ad in the movie theater and the idea of showing ads and trailers between films came to be. Thank you for the toilet break, Niels. Anyways, that was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. Thank you Storyblocks video for the support. And like always, stay creative.